Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you made it by. Uh, my name is Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a forex trader here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. And my phone just started ringing right as I started the video, but uh, we're going to keep rocking. Uh, glad you made it with me tonight. We're going to look at uh, Bitcoin tonight. We're going to see if we can see a target for a trade setting up or are we heading down even more? Uh, we finally got our bearish move to the downside uh, that we've been waiting for. Guys, I need to talk to you about uh, your psychology. I just I hear you know, it's in the trading group as well as in and just the general market and your comments to my videos. You know, you guys are getting overly bullish and you don't really have a reason to be. And every time you see some green candles after it's been red a little while, you're thinking, oh, no, we're going to shoot to the moon. Guys, uh, we are in a bear market. We are trending down. Uh, any kind of any kind of um, you know, long that we get, it's going to be um, – it's either going to be very, very manipulated like this one was here and then straight down. So you're going to have to be on it like a – you know, you're going to have to be trading. You're going to have to be trading in that moment. Um, excuse me. For um, – you're going to have to be very, very, very careful as to what's going on, okay? So let's talk about that today. Let's jump in today. So glad you're with me. Don't forget, none of this is financial advice. I'm not sharing with you how to spend your money. I'm telling you how to spend my money, okay? So there we go. Uh, with all that being said, let's jump in. <clears throat> all right. Um, let's see here. We're, we're on the uh, you know, two-hour chart here in um, um, Bitcoin. And right now, my primary count is that we have a WXY going on our hands? Okay, let me let me share with you that that count. Now, uh, I do have a you know a very a difficulty here with with this part of the count. Uh, this we we could actually yeah. Uh, uh, this this wave right here, I'll be honest with you, is uh, uncountable to me right there. I don't understand that wave. I don't understand. Uh, all that it is, it could be a double zigzag. It could it itself be a W wave. That's a double zigzag itself, a complex little zigzag there. But that's really quite difficult. But uh, I'm of the I'm of the stripe that uh, you know I'm just going to look at it within its context here. And, and in context, what I have is I, I know I have this this flat right here in the middle of this. Okay, so I've got this flat right here. Okay, uh, then I have. Um, just have the sneaking suspension. We're not recording. Okay, we are. Um, let's see. We got all kinds of kids in the in the background, just having a good old time tonight, and so we're just having a good time as a family. But uh, we're trying to get this done at the same time. So bear with the background noise if you can. Okay, I'll do my best to ignore it. Um, <clears throat> so we got a flat right there in the middle, uh, a wave to the upside. I've been counting this as a three wave here, um, and then then a three wave to the upside. Okay, and that leaves us with a three wave to the downside to finish it out. And so that would be a W, X, and a Y wave. That, that's my primary count right now. Uh, otherwise, that we've got some kind... Yeah, I mean, that's that's the best I can I can do for you right now is that, that we've got a, a, a W, X, and a Y. And we've got uh, downside to go here. We're not finished. This wave isn't finished. We're looking for it to finish, though. Um, <clears throat> just again, to be you know, really, really honest with you, interpreting this area right here, really difficult, but the best I can come up with is we've got some kind of WXY itself where, where we've getting the final three waves right here, guys. And so we're looking for a five wave uh, to complete here. Um, there we go. Uh, we have a five wave there, a three wave, and then we're going to get another five wave to the downside to finish that out. And that'll finish out a zigzag, a five, three, five zigzag to finish it out. Now, right now, my target is if price stays within this channel and stays on the trajectory that it's coming down in, uh, looks like the target's going to hit somewhere around midnight tonight, maybe uh, one, two o'clock in the morning. Uh, and uh, it's going to, you know, depending on what kind of bounces we get. If we get a long, steady bounce, you know, it could take, it takes time out of the equation, right? So if we get another another up move like that and then coming down obviously it's going to take a little longer right but uh, i don't think we're going to get that the way price action is going but we'll wait and see okay um hold on one second okay um so uh just so that's that's what we're looking at here for uh for the macro just look at it here um looking at uh we do have some um 
we never. I said yesterday's video that we had some bearish, uh, hidden bearish diver, divergence uh, coming. It never quite got up high enough to create the divergence I was looking for, but uh, we certainly got the bearish move. I was looking for the the RSI to come up just like that to create this uh, hidden divergence there to the downside. Um, but we did get the bearish move regardless, and uh, you know, that was pretty evident on the chart. Okay, so let's jump into the uh, smaller time frame here and see what we can see. Okay, <clears throat> now. Guys, right here, uh, one of the things you're going to need to learn to do is is not get so hyped up on uh, you know on on these these waves that you see forming to the upside, especially if they take a long time. I mean, this price hardly moved you know a couple hundred dollars. Um, you know, let's see how much did it move? It moved uh, two hundred and twenty dollars, something like that. Price moved two hundred twenty dollars, and it took forever to do it, guys. Impulses they go fast and quick. Okay, this is an impulse wave right here. This is this is what you're looking at right here as an impulse wave, and it, and it looks like a really really nice nice impulse wave that we're getting here. We got to you know if we had to count it. Uh, sorry, let me get that off the screen. Uh, right there, boom. We got a good one, two, three, four, five. I mean, you got a you got a five wave impulse working. We're, so we're finishing up the fifth wave here of this impulse. Should expect a bounce after that, guys. We're going to expect some kind of a larger bounce. Now, keep in mind, you get you get does. <coughs> In, in impulse waves, you have small bounces, you have intermediate bounces, then you have me, uh, larger bounces, okay? This was just a larger bounce, okay? So we're going to get some small, we're getting some small bounces right now. Uh, should be getting uh, maybe an intermediate bounce here soon, and then we're going to get uh, larger bounces. And so that's what we're, we're doing, guys. Just understand this, the nature of the, of the, of the gig here. Uh, but this, you got to learn also that, you know, what, how the waves are moving, if it's corrective or it's impulsive. I keep, I keep hitting the wrong thing on my screen. Uh, guys, this is, and I've been saying in the videos, this is moving up correctively. Everything about it is corrective. Everything is three waves, okay? I mean, when you start to see three waves everywhere, okay, there's three waves there, three waves there, three, up. Oh. Uh, let's see. Three waves, three waves, three waves, three waves, three waves. Okay, I mean, it's just everything... Nothing's moving in fives, okay? I mean, here, this is moving, right here, this is moving in five so far. Okay, it looks like we're in the fifth right now. Okay, this is five. That's what five looks like, okay? And and this is just a critical, uh, uh, you know, thing you have to learn in, in Elliot is learn the difference between a five and a three. Okay, that that's three, okay? That's three. It's not five. Okay, and 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 you're gonna notice that within the five, you've got a really long one in the middle. That's usually the third wave because the third wave is usually the longest. Okay, uh, so just keep those things in mind. Um, you know, fives and threes, fives and threes. So when you see everything moving in threes, guys, either it's a leading diagonal and that's a clear structure. Okay, uh, a, a a clear leading diagonal looks just like this. Okay. Boom, 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 like that, and it looks like a wedge. Okay, it's you draw trend lines on. It looks like a wedge. Okay, and in that you have three waves up, three waves down, three waves up, three waves down, three waves up, like that, and and it, and it forms a wedge shape, and everything's three waves. Okay, so when you see three waves that are making a wedge shape, that's a leading diagonal. You say, "What? Where? Hey, we we talked about that. We've seen that somewhere else, right here." right here got kind of a leading diagonal here the only problem here is we don't really have three waves in all of these uh, we might if I if I zoom out a little bit here yeah uh, so so this is hard to see the three waves but you know this could be right here an impulse or that could be three waves there this one's kind of a clear three waves right okay Got to clear three waves there. So those, and then, you know, of course, the corrective waves are, are, are clear three waves there. So anyway, so you need to start, one of the skills you need to start looking for is, am I looking at three waves? Am I looking at five waves? Okay, and so what's the nature of the waves? And so, you know, you know, I know somebody said they went into 100x long yesterday. Man, I, I'm, I, hate, I hate that for you right now. If you're in 100x long from this position. Now, if you're a hundred x long from down here, that's a little bit of a better position, okay? But uh, position from up here, hundred x long, oh, that's scary. Hope you stop that sucker out, okay? Because we've got more downside to go. 
more downside to go. So how much more downside? Well, I'm looking to finish these five waves uh, and then get a pullback and then and then more downside. But right now, just looking at the chart to stay within this uh, trading range, we'll stay within this channel. Uh, looks like we're going to come down to the you know the $6,800 level. Okay, that's going to be confluent right with this zone right here. Okay. Uh, and I expect a bounce there, guys. I expect a lot of traders to come in thinking that, that there needs to be long position there, okay? Now, here's my concern, and I want to share it with you, because uh, the last time this happened, okay, uh, there were a lot of us. I mean, many of us uh, Elliott Wave guys, we were looking, and I was one of them, okay, that we were short. We were short all the way down to this region, but in this region right here, in the 618 to 786 region, retrace we're like we're going to take it long why is that because a lot of times when we get this impulse wave we get a we get a three wave pullback and then we and it go, continues on right that's that's the pattern of the market over and over and over well this one didn't do that it just zoomed right past the zone that everybody thought we were going to go long and it, and it messed us all up right so we can't let that happen to us again now, i'm not saying it's going to happen to us again but <coughs> everybody and their brother that i know that uh, is an Elliott Wave trader is looking at $6,800. Okay, everybody, everybody that I know is looking at $6,855 uh, in that in that region. Okay, and price is heading down to this. So what are we going to do when it gets there? Well, we're going to wait for confirmation. Okay, now what is confirmation? Well, once price gets down here and finishes five waves to the downside, um, what would confirmation look like? Well, we need to see reversal. Now you can trade it off of that level if you want, but you need to be here. Here's something that might happen with price action. So price action might come on down. Probably going to wick through it. Then it's going to then you're going to get a bounce, right? And it's going to start going up a little bit. It's going to be one of those larger type bounces, you know, kind of like this wave right here that everybody was getting bullish on, right? But then what's going to probably happen is going to probably t fall over and come back down. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm very sorry. Um, uh, come back down and retest this uh, channel line, uh, retest this area. Now, from there, it could continue on and we get our trade, right? Or, or it continues down. So one of the, one of the, some safe ways to think about trading this is that once this thing comes down, okay, take your profit and you sit and wait. You let that bounce happen and you don't worry about it, okay? You even let this thing kind of go up and then you let it come on back down, okay? Uh, and then you wait to see if you start getting a move to the upside. Well, then you take it long and you just miss just part of it, okay? Um, and that's a good way to do it. A, a second thing you might consider is that you go ahead and, and as on one of those, you know, one of those, you know, big long red wicks at the bottom of that sucker, uh, you've got a you've got a purchase order waiting there, you know, at a uh, or or you wait to see. You're watching the market and you're waiting for the perfect entry. You wait for one of those really fast red candles. It goes really fast. It scares everybody. Um, that's where you. Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I just got a notification from another. Uh, trader there and i'd like to watch his videos as well i think it's sin crypto so uh anyway so you wait for one of those, one of those uh, long candles to the downside and you enter at the bottom of that sucker okay i mean you wait you make sure the rsi is showing kind of oversold there you make sure everything's looking good make maybe there's some divergence on on that chart you see we're already in the oversold region right now if it comes down and makes a lower low here guys we're going to get some uh we, we might get divergence on the chart. Who knows? We, we may or may not. But if you see the divergence, you see oversold, you say, okay, I'm going to take a risk here, take a chance. Chances are, guys, we're going to get a balance at 68 somewhere in that region, 6750 to 6800. A lot of times it goes deeper than we think. Okay, so uh, chances are we're going to get a bounce down here. And then now what kind of bounce we get, I can't tell you, but it could just be a little intermediate bounce or it could be the, the reversal we're looking for. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the trade that we're, we're hoping sets up, guys, is this trade right here. We got a leading diagonal A wave. We, we're going to finish up the B wave and then we're going to take it long for the C wave. Okay, now you got to remember too, the next area of support after the 6800, which is this little wick right here, is you got this bottom right here. You got this bottom right here at 6,500. That's very, very strong support across history, uh, the history of, of Bitcoin. So you got to remember that we got support area right over here at 6,500. Okay, uh, and then if we if we take it over even over here, right here at 65, there's all kinds of support level there. So 65 might be the region we might come back down and retest that. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if this if this continued down to 65. So I want you to be aware 
of that potentiality. Uh, you know, it's only $300 off the bottom if we double bottom here. Uh, it might come in wick below it. Shoot, it might even retest, it might even test 6,000. Okay, because we do have a trend line here. Let me just show you the trend line. And again, just trying to, you know, think outside the box here and be ready for any scenario as a trader. Okay, so here's a nice trend line here that kind of get one, two, three, eh, four touches. I mean, I, I kind of, you know, if I move it like that, I get touches everywhere there so uh, plenty of touches there um, and uh, that's looking good so be careful be careful but what I'd like to see in the grand scheme of things is a nice little wave that looks like this okay I'd like to see a three wave and so that gives us a boom boom and then we get our final move to the downside uh, and that's going to finish out our Z wave here in our count WXYXZ so that's ultimately my map for trading uh, Bitcoin right now I'm looking short um, mostly but uh, looking for a potential long here but don't think don't think you're going to get a huge long It'll just be maybe a thousand dollars or a couple, you know, maybe fifteen hundred dollars. We're looking at the eighty-five hundred dollar range. Depends on the the one-to-one -one extension of this wave. Okay, so everybody, everybody and their brother is looking for that as well. So you got to realize that. So the market, the market. Uh, likes to do things in a way that uh, is often confusing, uh, and so yeah, we got we've got. Let me see, yeah, regular good. So that's a potential, you know, trade to the upside, 8,100 um, to 8,500 in that ballpark. Okay, if you get an extended wave there, uh, 8,900 is a potential as well. So this region right there, okay, confluent with this zone right there. Uh, lots of uh, lots of things there we can we can look at. All right, so. Keep in mind, those are the things we're looking for. So I would, uh, one play is that you could you could go long here and, and whatever bounce you get, you're going to get a bounce in this region. Whatever bounce you get, if you don't get the follow through you're looking for, the, for the, then take profit. Wait for it to come back uh, or take it short again, uh, you know, but uh, don't get a, don't over trade in this region. This is a uh, scary times. OK, so uh, you got to realize that and just be safe with your money. Be safe. Take the take the, uh, you know, the high probability trades. OK. So uh, let's see what we get, uh, you know, here on this video. It's even kind of making its way down here, and it looks like we're going to have five waves to the downside. So 68.50 is looking pretty good right now. Guys, uh, 68, you know, 75, 68.50, that ballpark is looking good. Let's see what we get after that. Let me go ahead and get this out to you guys uh, so you all can be thinking about it. But, guys, listen, don't get over bullish when you see these corrective waves. Learn the difference between five and a three. And plan for the worst here. Plan for something you're not prepared for. Uh, so, you know, it, it, just, just because we have a trade idea that says we might go long at 68, it doesn't mean it's going to follow through. It may follow through perfectly. So it may follow through perfectly. No. I'll get you in a minute, okay? So it may follow through perfectly. And um, my son's asking me a question right in the middle of a video. I'm like, please, no. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, uh, it, it, it may or may not. So anything you take is risky, uh, but, but these are the setups, right? These are setups that, that are, you know, that happen over and over and over in the market. If we break this trend line, guys, if we break this trend line, so draw this trend line here. Actually, draw it off the top wicks right here and then clone it down here. I have a channel. So draw If we break that sucker, then we're going to have more downside. The next support area is 6,500. So watch that region, okay? All right. Got to go. We hope you guys have a fantastic night. Hope that helps you think about uh, trading this area. Be safe. Uh, be good. And uh, leave some comments. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.